Well, all right, all right. Here we are. My name is Dana Cadena, and I am delighted that each and every one of you have tuned in in order to invest the time in yourselves, right? We know that we have a great opportunity in terms of being a leader in real estate. We have today. Today matters, and we have a great opportunity to sharpen our axe, right? Because you can't slice steak with a butter knife, right or right. The option is there. And so thank you for investing the time in yourselves. Thank you for taking the minutes. We are going to do a deep dive into several dollar productive, meaningful platforms, tools, and concepts. And so I will delay no further. This is brought to you by myself, Dana Cadena, and Overachiever Central. Overachiever Central is the coaching training platform for people in real estate who prefer to go from where they are to where they're truly purposed to be. It is the 10th anniversary. It's crazy to think that 10 years ago was the year 2013. And so we're leveraging new ways to connect and overachieve in real estate moving forward. We know that real estate is the number one asset class that drives the most wealth to people on the globe. End of story, I dare you to fight me, all right? There is no other asset class that is more valid in driving long-term wealth to families other than real estate. So welcome to the party. We have uh, the opportunity to really pour into each other. I want to invite you to save questions, thoughts for the end, and I will invite you to unmute so that you could go ahead and share a takeaway, go ahead and ask a question. We're going to do an AMA, ask me anything. I am an open book. I was born and raised in New York City, and I currently reside with my family in central New Jersey. All that means is that I've grown up in real estate since the summer of 1999. Really, really great eye cream, y'all. All right. This is how we do. And so I want to invite you to, again, save your takeaways, save your questions for the end. And I'm happy, happy to cast light on you and on them. So Essentially, this is the Mastery Series. So every single Tuesday this month, this is the place to be. You register ahead of time and you get access to the genius, the models, tools, and systems that drive revenue to real estate sales businesses. We don't flip flapjacks. We don't, you know, we don't actually make food, right? We make results in real estate. I know my house came with a room. It's called a kitchen. And so uh, I don't know much about that room. However, I know five bedroom colonials on a half acre. I know 22 unit buildings in Hudson County. I know selling land. We know how to build wealth in real estate. And so what we're talking about today is your polished business plan on one sheet of paper. Now, I want to invite you before I go to the content and the next slide specifically, I am not showing you anything that's breaking news. All right. I am showing you tried tools that have weathered many different markets and have stood the test of time. And so you can't go to the same tool or the same training twice. It's just like the same person can't walk in the same river twice because you yourself are different as you evolve and the water 
is different as well. And so the next tool I'm going to show you, although it may look familiar, you're going to show up differently because the tool is going to sound or look a little different and you're going to notice a tactic, an idea or a strategy in the investment of our time today that you're going to add to this tool. It's called a GPA, it's called a business plan, all right? And so we're going to go to the GPA so that I am going to cast light on how we're completing the 90 day goal priority actions plan. So 90 days from today is December 3rd of 2023, all right? Literally 90 days from right now is 12, three of 23. And so I want to invite you to really think between now and then this form, this paper right in front of us is going to inform our strategies, our priorities, and what we do tactic wise so that we're driving the most revenue possible to our agent business. All right. So it starts with the G. It starts with the goal. The goal is just like a target. It's SMART, all right? It's specific. SMART is an acronym that stands for specific. It's measurable. The goal is attainable. It's repeatable. And it's time-based, okay? And so it may sound like you're looking to go ahead and make at least 150 unique conversation contacts every single week between now and December 3rd, causing an extra 10 units to close and settle at about 10,000 bucks a unit, making that an extra 100,000 bucks. I use the word extra because this is called overachiever central. It's not called mediocre, all right? And so the reality is, what is it that you need to focus on to create 150 unique calls, conversations, experiences in order to create 10 extra closed units by or before December 3rd, 2023 at an average price point of no less than you fill it in. Is it 400,000? Is it 500,000? Whatever your average price point is. So you craft your goal. In blue here, the three, it's a GPA, just, just like Seton Hall, all right? Just, just like college, it's the GPA. It's the goal and then the priorities. When you think priorities, I'm going to show you one that's complete right after this vantage point, all right? The P are priorities. And priorities are powerful because priorities are a little more broad than the actual action items. Priorities give clarity and focus to an area of how we connect with people, all right? So I'm gonna give several priorities in a moment. The five is where the real work, the grit, the sweat equity, the five on the lower bottom of this page are the five action items that are the pillars that drive the results to each of those three broader priorities. And so you have five actions dedicated to each of the three priorities that literally create that overall goal, all right? And so that's your GPA. So when we look at a completed 30,000 view foot on what does it look like to have this beautifully created, you're going to fill in the blanks. And by the way, I'm going to give you a cheat sheet. I invested the weekend to craft the 101 top ways to identify new consumer clients. Put in the chat box, is it okay that I share with you 101 ways to generate new real estate clients in this season for today's market? Because besides being company-wide trainer, besides being wifey and mama bear, Besides running a sales business, I kid you not, besides right being a coach mentor figure, I actually get to still consult 
homeowners and take listings. I still, I don't show the homes anymore, but I am absolutely negotiating on multiple properties for buyers. I always say I am in the coal Hans in these streets. And so I would never suggest for anyone here to do anything that I am not currently doing in these streets selling listings. All right. So if you're okay that I share the top 100 ways to generate more business. Oh, I'm noticing everyone's okay with that. Great. Awesome sauce. Mm, can't wash it off. It's good. And so the three priorities, right? We're crafting the goal. And so I don't have to read to you. You can read. The goal says to proactively. That means aggressive. That means you wake up and you do the work. Often it looks like it's in overalls. It's good. Proactively make, I'm going to say 150 because you really can't talk to a hundred people in the week and really make magic happen. You proactively make 150 unique contacts. What's a contact? A contact is a live exchange with another adult human in real estate, whether it's a phone call, an in-person meeting, belly to belly, maybe it's a DM. I'll take a DM if you're really engaged. All right, you know what a what a business DM is. And so the reality is it's a conversation or a digital exchange. It could be a text. I take texts. It's a digital conversation, belly to belly, in person, live exchange with a decision making adult in real estate. Have 150 of them every single week. All right. If you're full-time, great, you're full-time. If you're dual career, do 10 every workday. 10. 10, take it like a tic-tac, okay? 10 every workday. You do two on your lunch break. You do five at night. You plug in another few in the morning. You do it in your NET time. No extra time. Net. Like a tennis net, as it were. And so do it in your net time. So when you make 150 contacts every single week and the price point is no less than that 400K a property and you figure out how to sell 15 of those, you will see no less than 150,000 bucks in GCI in the next 90 days. So let's do that. Now, ideas regarding the P for priorities, all right? The P for priorities, you can have prospecting phone calls be one. You can have... Seventh level open houses, more on that later. You can have business to business referrals. Hold on. You could even do door knocking as a mega priority. All right. Think broad. It is a theme of a priority that's driving which actions to take. So if you're making calls, you're picking up the 500 pound iPhone and you're making calls. I mean, if you have an Android, it's okay. Just go to the Apple store and get an iPhone. Woo, shade. Just kidding. Sort of, not really. You're lost in this company if you don't have an iPhone. <laughs> Lifestyle is the delivery platform for your genius to the world, okay? And so your actions are, are literally going to activate each of the priorities and, and you'll enjoy the result. So you may be calling the fastest source of business opportunity, also known as for sale by owners. You may be calling old expireds or withdrawns. We're going to get into the 100 ways that we're making this magic happen. The reality is think about your strengths. If you're not a phone person, then don't make that a, a major priority. And then you better get your running shoes on and do some public open houses and do some networking, right? Mm, it is 6.15. It is Cousin Dana after dark you're getting. You're about to step into the Thunderdome. All right. Let's talk about actions. So the five actions for each of these three priorities is what you're making a commitment to. I'm not asking to be super, super just rigid and only doing these actions. These are the priority actions. This is action-based goal setting. 
you're going with the end in mind. And that's the magic of how the goal translates to the broader priorities and then literally drills down. It's almost like a silhouette, right? It literally drills down to your actions. All right, so let's chop it up. Firstly, I will, I have to, what is GCI? Great question. GCI is gross commission income before anyone touches it. And so when you have 15 properties closed, for example, in the next 90 days, and they're each valued at $400,000, each of those 15 properties at a normal and customary commission, that's an extra 10,000 bucks per unit. 10,000 times 15 is a buck 50 in GCI now. The Sherman Antitrust Act, all commissions are negotiable. I am just using a rough template of two and a half percent per side. And so when you sell 15 properties on one side for two and a half percent, two and a half percent on 400,000 bucks, it's an easy number. It's 10 stacks, 10,000. Yes, Alicia, I will share the whole deck on the app and or a company-wide email. Thank you for being here, Guzman. Mm, Silver Fox. And so GCI, great, great question because I see a lot of training and coaching platforms misinform based on GCI. For the Carolinas and New Jersey, it's the attorney check straight from the closing. For Florida, as it were, it's that check, right? The total commission check typically handled by the title company. Someone tell me if it's different in the chat. Hello, Doral. Hello, y'all are so cute. Lucia, Cindy, Tali, Leslie, all y'all rhyme. Brenda, Madeline, yes. Oh my goodness, Natalie. Well, this is the best looking Zoom room. Aaliyah, Abby, what? Okay, now I'm just, now we're just hanging out. Remember, questions, God, oh, woo, Lord, Maria. So listen, share, Diona, share, remember, save your questions, takeaways. I want to hear it toward the end, okay, Angelica? Here we go. All right, so welcome. I told you, welcome to the Thunderdome. Cousin Dana after dark. Look how fancy Gio made this whole presentation. Gio, where's the, here we go. Woo, daddy. 101 high yield tactics to acquire clients. If somebody's ready, say ready in the chat. Here we go. Buckle up, buttercups. Remember, you can't walk in the same river twice. You're different. The water is different. Let's get it. You are doing, here's the first 25. We're going to chop this up, okay? One. Hosting online events with a compliant giveaway, collaborate with your vendors. You're going to connect with the people you know, the Mets, and the people you don't know, the unmets, to squeeze their info, all right? So it might sound like, what's the next holiday? You know, it doesn't even need to be a holiday. You can say next Thursday between 10 a.m. and 6 p.m. You're inviting everyone who knows you, loves you, likes you, who's on social, who's on the tick and the talk and who's on YouTube and all of the IG, Facebook things and invite them, call in to strive to win this Amazon gift card, this Starbucks gift card. What people will do for a Starbucks gift card is fascinating. All right. And so you could support a local business, cast light on them. What you're doing is you're making it fun. You're gamifying, getting them to call you. Now what's happening? Your phone is ringing, right? So your phone is ringing and you're asking them some great questions. Hey, let me just get all of your contact information. What we're gonna do is we're gonna play a game. The next neighbor that sells or moves near you in your neighborhood, do you wanna know what they got? You want to know their price, maybe some photos I could access. Do you want to be on that VIP drip? 
right? Do you want to see the next neighbor near you that sells or buys? What area are you interested in learning more about? Oh, you're going to move to Miami in a few months? Great. I have 150,000 realtors I know in that area, right? And so you want to understand, hey, what are your real estate plans in the next 12 to 18 months? And the real question, let me update. What is the best way to get in contact with you if I have some breaking news in my industry or an amazing event or something I want to invite you to? What do you prefer? Text? Do you prefer? Eat? You're getting so granular with them. If you don't have the kids or the pets birthdays, get that, right? Just squeeze their information so that they're having a chance to win the prizes, right? The gift card, the whatever it is, the iPad, the iPod, AirPods, whatever it is. And hey, if you want three more entries to this exciting, right, gamified activity, who else do you know that I could reach out to? Because you're amazing and you may know other people, right? Gamify it. That's number one. Two, VIP public open houses. So good. So get the nosy neighbors out of the area. In each of the directions, never eat soggy waffles, right? North, east, southwest. It's an easy way to remember it. Go ahead and invite 25 neighbors in each direction. You're inviting 100 neighbors to the VIP section of the public open house that you're hosting the following weekend. You're going ahead of time. You're showing that you're working, right? And it's a it's a place for you to be on stage for the neighbors. So you're inviting them to go ahead from 11 to noon to be boys with you so that from 12 to two, you actually have the real open house that's public for the buyers, all right? So that's VIP open house. Number three, proactively contact the NODs, right? The notice of defaults, the list. Ask you know, NJ Lifestyle Title or Lifestyle Title through New World. I'm sure they would pull lists for you. Number four, pop by campaigns, all right? It says here, infotaining. What's infotainment? It's actually information that you make fun. So please be careful. Don't say on the post, you know, work with me for your real estate needs. Nobody wants to, nobody really is, is double clicking on that. I, I'm not, many people are not. And so maybe you have a for sale sign in the background and, uh, you know, maybe it's a window sign of your listing and you're showing them a really sexy kitchen or some porcelainosa heated radiant floors or something, right? Like here's the best price point in this zip code. Sell the sizzle, right? There, there's a sizzle to the steak and you got to enjoy that sizzle. You have to let that marinate right? You're the driver of everything fun and informational, like the real estate economist you are. Number five, EDDM. That's every door direct mail mailers with a message that sounds like the real estate economist you are. The real estate economist, you're elevating a world-class experience for all of your clients. And that's why you're going to enjoy the currency of introductions, connections, like we say, referrals. Referrals is our word though, not the general public. It's a connection, it's an introduction, right? And so EDDM mailers with your elevated message hitting. Number six, newsletters and e-newsletters with community highlights. For example, the Downs Group hailing partners from Jersey City, New Jersey, they have the best subject lines on their weekly newsletter email campaigns. I've had a lot of agents say, oh, email stinks. No, 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 they're, right? Like someone's email stinks out there, not theirs. So you wanna model after a superb newsletter email campaign, just double click to subscribe to the Downs group and then thank them later. Number seven, handwritten notes to your top 100. Remember, I don't take I don't dish out the medicine without taking it myself. And so I've built my businesses, training, coaching, sales on handwritten new handwritten letters. All right. It is polished. It is usually 
a coffee card. Some come, they look like this, right? Some, okay, it's attention to detail because the significance resides in the detail. And so handwritten notes to your top 100 people who know you, love you, like you. Number eight, phone calls to your sphere and circle of influence. Please don't forget the people who know you, love you, like you. Number nine, you're going to text your digital polished business card because the next time someone gives me a physical business card, it usually goes to blot lipstick. Sorry, sorry, not sorry. All right. You want to reside in someone else's phone. And the way you do that is that you text your digital card. Number 10, fastest source of business opportunity calls, knocking, and the fortune is in the follow-up. The fortune resides in the follow-up. So have a very aggressive, polished, recurring digital follow-up. Most agents, your competition, they stop following up after eight weeks. Eight consecutive weeks, they evaporate. They disappear. Don't be the disappearing realtor, all right? Number 11, old expireds, right? Current withdrawns. You want to go ahead and offer an equity report, elevate the conversation, mirror and match. It's sales 101, and we're going to get into behavioral styles in a little bit. The old expireds and withdrawns. And when I say old, what do we mean by old? I'm talking, you want to dial it back, right? I mean, if they did not trade back in 2013 to 2016, don't you think they have more equity today? So if they were expired in that season, invite them back to the market. That's number 11. Number 12, client appreciation events. You hire the photographer to show up there, right? You want to make it big. The, the invitation is also valuable itself because when you invite someone, right, it's you're thinking of them. It is a thoughtful pursuit. Number 13, volunteer efforts and philanthropic events. When you give back, it's the law of reciprocity. Just do it in an authentic way. If you're not passionate about the topic, right? Don't, or, right, or the group or whatever it is, like just make sure it's authentic. Number 14, local sports teams. Think banners, right? Abigail and I, we just did this for the local baseball team, right? Think water bottles, things like that. You want to go ahead and brand it and show that you're thoughtful showing up in your community. You want to tattoo your brand in the community. Number 15, Networking events with like-minded professionals. We here have a nice people only rule, don't we? Nice people only. Think about that. So sponsor um, you know, networking events with like-minded professionals. Number 16, business to business accounts. All right. Think about other industries who also source and find their own clients. Everyone from personal care, the esthetician, right? Your hair person, the nail. I'll never forget my first multi-million dollar sale, the, the homeboy who owned the nail shop. Go figure, right? He asked for a $500,000 house, but then I noticed he was wearing Versace socks. He bought a million one in 2005. That's how old I am. It's good. Number next, number 17. All right. Annual equity reports to this is major, all right? And close your ears for a minute. If you're brand new, I, ha I have a spin for this. However, if you have a track record, if you're aligned with a team with a track record, if you have more than 10 sales under your belt, please do an, an actual mailing piece and a digital piece that casts light on your career to date clients who have sold. And then go ahead and offer them an equity report. We need to can CMA. Nobody really knows what that is, right? Comparative market analysis. We sound like Robox, but an equity report, right? A report about money. Let's get it. Number 18, circle prospecting, five by fives. So that looks like in what you want to do is go ahead and focus on where can you tell a story? 
And so if there was a record sale for a sky high price, I mean, a Snoop Dogg high price, go ahead and tell that story. It's public record. It's sold and closed. That is public record. You want to go ahead and cast a light on that. And so just think that the business itself breeds more business. And so you want to go again with the end in mind and show the stories, tell the stories. And so you want to go ahead and fi find those five neighborhoods, go five layers deep, more on that later. Number 19, y'all don't do this, I quit. Number 19 is HR director campaigns and connections. Think about, start with everyone you know and your existing clients and your current clients and just ask, hey, would you just do a quick email intro with me and your HR person at your place of work because I'd love to drive relocation solutions so they never have to worry about it. When they're moving someone in or out of the company, you're the subject matter expert. Mega. Number 20, relocation opportunities and tours. So think relo, think referral, right? And so one of the best 25% referral fees, right? That you did not have to overspend for that lead, right? You see 75% and the originating agent sees 25%. Number next, number 21, print advertising. It's still a thing. Don't unfriend me. It made the list. Number 22, social media. Captain Obvious, right? We can be so, so productive on our laptops and, and iPhones, all right? Social media has been monetized 600 million ways from everything from TikTok to Instagram to Facebook to now it's threads and all these things. Just, just remember, right? Lead with revenue. Don't get crazy with the spend on the ads. Monetize the relationships that, that you are able to monetize. Blogging, vlogging, number 24, email drip campaigns, 25, eight by eight campaigns and 10 days of pain. What is 10 days of pain? Number 25, 10 days of pain is essentially once a day, every day consecutively for 10 days. That's the follow-up cadence between you and that next opportunity, whether they're an expired, a for sale by owner, right? Because remember, usually after the eighth day or the eighth touch, that's when most of your competition quit. So 10 days of pain is an actual campaign and it's been monetized by some of the best. Here's the next 25 data after dark. Let me just check in. Who needs oxygen or alcohol? Oh, good. At least you're laughing in the uh, chat box. It's good. Oh, and there's 83 friends here. No, 94 friends. Look at that. Yes, spaghetti. Mmm, delicious. All right, good. 26, REO and HUD bank listings. There are some third-party platforms that you can reach out to and easily they will take your referral fee and offer you the crack at getting some of these REO and bank-owned properties. Just remember, literally less than 1.8% of the inventory in the continental US is currently experiencing negative equity, as it were. So just remember that. However, they're still there and there's millions of homes that are going to sell, right? Check out Foreclosure Fridays. We're going to give Omi Jean-Louis a big, big shout out, all right, as a new papa bear. Him and Jada, perfect baby girl, right? And listen, Omi is no joke with his foreclosure Fridays. Try to get in on the book of face, also known as Facebook, Instagram, Omi Jean-Louis. Hit him up. Gio, put his name in the chat box. Number 27, connect with local savings banks as the local realtor. I had one of my coaching clients about 12, 13 years ago uh, do the super 200 exercise. That didn't make the list. Here's 102, high yield tactics to acquire clients. The super 200 exercises, act like you're getting married or act like you're getting married again and just make the top 200 people that come to your mind that you'd actually invite to your wedding and start to ask them, where do they work? Who's their HR person? Sound familiar? And especially where they work because one of my coaching clients found the person who doles out the non-performing paper 
homeowners as leads to the local realtor. So it sounds like, uh, hey, Thali, would you go ahead and meet with the owner of 127 Main Street because they're four months down on their mortgage payment and uh, yeah, we want to get this asset off of our books. Please invite them to go ahead and sell and move so the loan can get paid off. That actually happens. So local savings banks, pay attention and introduce yourself as the subject matter expert. Introduce yourself as the local realtor and the local real estate economist. Number 28, you can attend public trustee sales. 29, you can send custom notes to homes for rent to the actual property owners to eventually align and build rapport to capture those listings, all right? Trade shows, listen, bridal shows, don't laugh. When you get a knee and a ring, usually they need somewhere to live, all right? And so you'll probably be the only realtor there at the bridal show if you're really paying attention. And it's usually like 30, 40 bucks a table. These things are not exorbitant. So it's a dollar productive way to get in front of a lot of people. 31, host an informational talk, right? Host a first time seller seminar. Or how about a move up, a bump up seminar where they're selling for the first time and probably upgrading into a larger home. Uh, perhaps you're doing an investor driven seminar, right? Maybe you're doing a foreclosure Friday seminar. Stay tuned. All right. Number 32, network with affiliates. Think CPAs, matrimonial attorneys, bankruptcy attorneys, right? Trouble in paradise. You have to sell something, at least the second home, right? Insurance representatives. Shout out to In Your Best Interest, Asin. He is a subject matter expert of everything insurance. Hit him up. Say hello in the chat. Where, number 33, I, I, have, I have some of my coaching clients that have a $33,000 t-shirt. That's why it's number 33. 33,000 a year earned from just wearing an Ask Me About Real Estate t-shirt at the gym. I was like, who's gym? It's a place that you go to work out. It's good. So number 33, wear your swag. I get it. We like designer things. The best brand name is your own. So says she who wears, it's good. Number 34, preview properties and post about it. You have the listing agents, explicit permission. It's a very simple text. You could go ahead and cast more eyes on their property, right? And plus they're complimented by it. Oh, by the way, cast light, show me an amazing backyard. Show me a lake view, all right? And post about it. Number 35, work short sale and pre-foreclosure property lists. 36, enroll in a class or start a new hobby, right? You're maybe, I don't know, take your dog to the dog park. Like a lot of deals are traded there. I'm gonna borrow someone's puppy next. A lot of deals are traded at the dog park. Maybe you're in the sommelier club. You're passionate about grapes or wine. Perhaps you're, I started doing hot yoga. I'm melting. I'm melting. It's good. And so number next, ah, someone put it in the chat box and roll. Number 37, join or launch a book club and then market the hell out of it. All right. You can do and make it fun, right? It doesn't have to be only nonfiction. It could be a fictional book, right? And so when you start that book club, you start in the neighborhood and it it always comes up what you do for a living, right? And even the little giveaways, you can you can really blow that up like we knew you would, all right? And so next is attend, I'm so passionate about this group, attend a local Toastmasters meeting you'll definitely be the only agent. And if you're not, text me and I'll Venmo you. Really, Toastmasters.org is a really powerful platform. Essentially, the overall theme of Toastmasters is to perfect the art of public speaking and presenting in general. And it's a volunteer organization. They meet twice a month. Every other few zip codes has it. When you go to the meeting in New Jersey, or Florida, or Barcelona, Spain, or Dana Point, California, they all follow a similar agenda, which is very organized and polished. And you'll see people from all walks of life who are striving to perfect the art of speaking and presenting. We're always presenting. Can you imagine if I got on here 
and was really low energy and was very monotone. I can't even do it for five seconds. I want to physically shake. And so everything is energy and everything is presenting and it matters. All right. So that was number Toastmasters 38. Number 39, target and market to renters to remix them into buyers because renting is 100% interest where buying is not, all right? Stop crying about the rates. I've had it, all right? It is what it is. If you qualify, get it because you can't lock in the year 2023 prices in five years when the rate is lower, please, right? Buy real estate and then wait. Don't wait to buy real estate, please. I know it's corny. Don't unfriend me publicly. All right, number next, mail home anniversary cards. It's so forgettable and yet don't, right? Mail home anniversary cards. Number 41, damn, we're 41% into this list. Somebody tell a joke in the chat box, it's good. Write an informational article for a local paper. I actually got to do this in the year 2020 and uh, it was pretty fascinating. I Maybe I'll post about it. Uh, it was about all of the unrest that was going on at that time. And it was pretty interesting and how it impacted real estate. So write an informational article, write about the absorption rate, right? Write about uh, how maybe there's still lines at public open houses, Okay. Cast light on what's infotaining, what's entertaining and informational and submit it to the paper. You might make some, some reporter friends. The reporter friends are good to know too. Number 42, send equity reports to absentee owners. Absentee owners live in a different place other than where they own the piece of real estate. Offer your local expertise to them. Awful, offer your local vendors. For example, if you mail to an investor who owns a property in your area, maybe they need uh, an attorney. Maybe they need like a tenant attorney. Maybe they need a resource that you have. Maybe they need a landscaper for goodness sakes, right? Maybe they have no idea how much their equity has grown because they're just so busy living in another area. Be the local expert. Number 43, bus benches. It made the list. I don't know, grocery carts. These are things. Just lead with revenue. Don't overspend on billboards. It's mind share versus market share. The mind share is the perception of the consumer. The market share is where you sign the listing or sell the buy side. Amen? All right. Number 44, radio. I have a face for radio. I just want to say that. I don't know why. Radio, explore being a recurring guest on a radio show. I have an agent in mm, Midwest. Forget the state. Somewhere in the Midwest. Homegirl, every Thursday, she's a recurring realtor guest and they do an AMA, like ask me anything. They are not stumping this woman. She's amazing at off the cuff answers. How much fun. Look into that, your local radio station. Number 45, create and distribute a personal branded brochure, digital, print, make it sexy, make it fun. Number 46, attend a meetup meeting, like meet up, like not carnivore, M-E-E-T, right? Like meet up, uh, inventory. They have, it says inventory, we mean investor. It says uh, we have investor meetups that are typically consumers as investors. You might be the only agent there. Number 47, learn another part of the industry, right? Ask Fran Ruiz about commercial. We have commercial, there's rural, there's land. My Zoom environment is covering it. So I'm kind of like riffing right now. Uh, you can learn about, right? Like commercial in terms of selling businesses. You can really explore that. Also give your vendors an opportunity. Ah, I got Geo, help me. Are you the co-host? Okay, good. Uh, you could go ahead and get your, give your vendors referrals and also invite them to refer back to you, right? Uh, you could do interviews. You can do 
sports mailings like if there's a sports calendar what's the next sport coming up i guess football i don't know this body was made by the debate team but you can you can do those sports schedules you could send in the mail people love them i don't do magnets anymore because i don't want fingerprints on my fridge i think the same of others who knows uh, but you could go ahead and send your shopping list, whatever that item of value is. Think what speaks to you and what you're proud to put your name on. Number 51, do a compliant drawing to capture more leads, right? Number 52, create a Google business page and collect reviews on Google. Listen closely, collect reviews on Google. How many of you remember a few years ago, all of our sales history overnight completely got dissected and deleted and paused and confused on the platform that rhymes with the word pillow. Good grief, Zillow. Zillow can take away all of your reviews tomorrow and you have nothing to say about it because Zillow is a broker in over 23 states and counting. And so the reality is you can't hold Zillow accountable to save all your little testimonials, collect them somewhere else. And plus Google loves Google more than Kanye loves Kanye. So pay attention to Google. Number 53, capture and follow up with all internet leads. Somebody say yay. Number 54, host your own networking group. It's like a lunch for eight kind of concept. Ho just organize your own, create your own SWAT team so that you're the preferred realtor, spoiler alert. Perhaps you have the preferred title company and or attorney if you're an attorney state, the inspector, right? The subject matter expert when it comes to credit restoration. Perhaps you have the interior designer. Maybe you even invite a commercial broker. Think big, right? Think you incorporated. Playing small does not serve the world, all right? Number 54, we already said that, you're welcome. 55, choose a geographic farm and then commit to it, right? So you're choosing that geographic farm to love on and communicate and mail and call and mail and call and mail, commit. That looks like a 24 month commitment, not 24 minutes. Sorry, not sorry. In order to develop a track record, you have to have the investment of time. Okay. Number 56, develop a system to work in terms of out-of-state referrals. All right. And so make friends with agents in various states. Would you send 25% as a professional thank you in exchange for a client who closes with you? Everybody say yes. Number 57, adopt a school. This is a meaningful thing. I have giveaways that I'm doing right now for back to school program from Dana, the realtor. All right. Adopt a school and, and give some treats. I, I wish I had it in, uh, in my view. There's little lattes, right? That you could get these miniature can latte and sounds corny. Don't unfriend me, but thanks a latte. And thanks for all you do teacher, right? From your local realtor. Some of them want to get in the business. Some of them are the next top producers. Teachers make exceptional agents. Also, number 58, create and maintain an impressive branded website. Well, thank goodness for lifestyle. All you have to do is email Ashley and it magically happens. So that's a plus. So create and maintain your website. Number 59, give your clients, I mean, this, this could be class over. Give your clients a world-class service and experience and then ask for connections. Ask for who they know because they're enjoying actively a great world-class experience and, and you've earned it. Number 60, schedule a speaking opportunity, right? Maybe uh, at the VA, right? Like the Veterans Administration, maybe, maybe even at like a senior home. How fun would it be to just pour into, right? Like senior citizens, I don't know. I love them and they love me. It's like a thing, I have no idea. Um, Listen, and, and a lot of them, right, may have uh, real estate needs and, and need someone who's patient and caring. Are you that agent? Number 61, pro prospect <clears throat> wedding announcements. I swear, there's some agents, right, that in the papers see, I mean, you have, you have the tax record. This is lemon seltzer water. 
Don't Unfriend Me. And it says limited 1979 vintage. Whoever got this for me is really rude, but I, you know, it's all good. So prospect wedding announcements in order to move, go for it. You get a knee and a ring and maybe they want to buy with you. Number 62, when people create people, right? Baby announcements, send congratulation notes, do it. They're probably outgrowing their place in the next few months. Send holiday cards, gratitude notes every November go a long way. Your competition's not doing it. And they're definitely not handwriting it. Number 64, you could wrap your car. You get crazy with it. You go ahead and wrap your car. I'm not wrapping my Model X, but y'all could wrap your car if you want. I, I know there's some stunter cars in this Zoom room too. H high five to the depreciating assets. Uh, <clears throat> but we're investors too, right? High five, y'all. Number next, number 65 is, oh, reminds me of Sir Ashley hailing from the Carolinas. YouTube local expert videos, houses, city by city, town by town, meaning do you have Miami real estate showing up on YouTube with you leading that, right? Watch the let's do this call that Sir Ashley Harrison led on the topic of YouTube. Amazing. Ask about it. Number 66, housewarming parties and events. Be that realtor. I went to one this past Sunday. Abby, I went to 44 Owens in Old Bridge. Oh my goodness. I had like 101 pieces of egg rolls and all of the good food. Amazing. It matters, right? You show up, you, you, you know, you shake a couple hands, you kiss some babies. Don't shake the baby. It's good. All right. Build the rapport. Number 67. You want to add to your database like nobody's business? You want to monetize? You want to find an extra 20,000 in the next few weeks? Listen closely. Offer to send the We Just Move letters on behalf of your clients to all of their friends and family. You're welcome. It's good. Number 68, give your business card oh, to every waiter and waitress and tip very well because they might be the next person on your sales squad. Holla. Number 69, work with those at retirement age or downsizing as the investment advisor, right? Maybe even assisted living places, right? Just be thoughtful, be authentic, be kind. No commission breath, care about humans, all right? Number 70, work, participate in local community parades this made the list because you might be the only agent who actually cut the $100 check to be there, all right? Think, you know, big parades. Number 71 out of 101, host a show and tell collaborative event for your clients. What does it look like? Okay, there's a few different tracks and Tiffany Forrest is genius at this. We were riffing together, thinking of different tactics and, and things to do. Imagine like your favorite chef and then your favorite sommelier. And then, right. I mean, you're your favorite realtor, right. And then you just insert like maybe the top seven DIY things that are trending today as a little, you know, giveaway or listen, just make it fun, create experiences. People are double clicking on experiences. Okay. Number next is Walk a neighborhood with door hangers, right? Send quarterly reports. Number 74, target a specific niche that speaks to your strength set. Number 75, Facebook and Instagram ads with a message that solves a challenge. A message that solves a problem. Oh, you think you can't afford that? Ask us how. Oh, you're a homeowner that doesn't know where to go, ask me today. It's it's solving a challenge or an issue. Oh, this is the last batch. And then we're going to open it up to AMA. Ask me anything. We're rolling good on time too. So proud of us. Number 76, hand out swag. I'm so tone deaf. <laughs> Sorry. Hang out, hand out swag right? Notepads, the, 
your swag, all of your t-shirts, your brilliance, your, oh, I just saw something on my desk. Someone gave me a, a tape measure, right? But like branded to them, I would use that. A lender gave that to me and hand it out at your local businesses. Local businesses support local businesses. Here's number 77. Offer, 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 offer to sponsor the Wi-Fi password at your local business. Make it Dolly, my favorite realtor, right? Make it Omi, my agent, whatever. It's not a lot of dough. Just talk to them. Number 78, gather great testimonials to add to your branded website and your pre-list packages. All right. Let other people say how great you are. How many times do you see agents like say how great they are over it? Number 79, buyer needs letters to generate listing appointments. Man, so good. It looks like the letter is in a quadrant and you're talking about four different buyers, one in each quadrant. Maybe we should we should do that as a remixed uh, follow up class, the buyer letter, and it's like Susie and her hubby and their one and a half kids and puppy are looking for the four bedroom colonial with two and a half baths at the fairways in Doral. I literally made that up. I don't even know, right? But like, and get super specific to exactly what that neighborhood offers, and send it. Make it warm and fuzzy and compliant and real and get your broker to make sure it's compliant. Okay. So that's number 79 buyer needs like our buyers need your house. Call me today. Number 80 call agents who may be open to selling their database as they retire, because we can make sure that they're retiring with dignity. All right. How about that? How about cut them a deal where They'll see X percentage as a, a upgraded referral fee for the first 18 months. And then it and then it tapers off to a normal and customary referral fee. You don't have to cut an upfront check. No upfront check needed. A lucrative, make sense, win-win referral agreement. I call them respectfully sunset agents that are sunsetting it out. Find them. They're there. Number next. Send just sold notes to generate more appointments. 82, host a tour of homes like a caravan. I mean, when there's enough inventory, you could schedule three open houses and frame it like a caravan. Get a party bus, split it with a lender, be compliant and lead with revenue. Number 83, purchase events, uh, tickets or sports tickets, and then go ahead and give them to other business to business contacts. Like maybe there's a really prominent business owner that you would love to connect with. And you notice that they're, uh, I don't know, Miami Dolphin fan. I think that's a team. Oh my gosh, I'm so bad. <clears throat> it's, some, it's a really cool animal in Miami. Someone put it in the chat, send help. Hey, Miami Dolphins, I think they play football. It's a brown ball. It's like this, anyway. Uh, and so, right, you just want to go ahead and build the rapport and offer the tickets and let it be a, a write-off right? We all need tax write-offs. 84. Listen to me. I'm so passionate about garage sales. I have spent 20 bucks on something I'm going to donate that day just to have an excuse to talk to whoever is having the garage sale. Garage sales, they're cleaning to move. Stop at them. Make friends. 85. Call capture programs if you want. It made the list. Number 86, attend and join the local chamber of commerce if the realtor seat is open. The local chamber of commerce. 87, explore collaborating with car dealers. If they just bought a new house, maybe they need a new crib. Or maybe they want to give themselves an upgrade and work with you in real estate. Just saying, right? You're selling the car or you're selling the house. Think about that. Number 88, contact HOA management and management companies for potential leads, right? Homeowners associations and or condo management companies. Make friends with them. They're usually grumpy, but you'll be okay. Number 89, visit new construction sites and offer them a compliant suite deal because sometimes they don't 
really jump at the chance to list the property. Think of it. They're there to just unilateral sell the product, okay? When the buyer says, oh, I have a little condo to sell. They say, oh, okay, great. Just call your realtor. Mm -hmm. they, they're there to just new construct, sell the new property. Go ahead and cut some deals that are compliant. Number 90, courts to prospect, probate court, tax liens, divorce court, pick a court, tennis court, for God's sake, get out there, right? Number 91 out of 101, Lord have mercy, partner with local businesses to offer coupons to the new buyers moving into the area. Maybe it's a coupon code like, you know, Erin, my realtor, five off right? Five bucks off or 5% off or 10% off. Reciprocity, right? You're promoting their business. Believe me, they'll promote yours if you remind them. Number 92, share your contact info on those little public bulletins that are in little shops and grocery stores, those community shops you see. Number 93, send a successful sold career to date property list showing your track record. Perhaps you create your branch, right? The lifestyle branch traded this number of units and properties and volume, boom. You're aligned with a top producing company in your area, in your zip code, in your county. Think big, right? Think of who you're aligned with because you're a product of your environment and you want to make sure you're in a highly profitable one. Number next. Shortly after the closing, door knock the neighbors, inviting them to sign the welcome to the neighborhood greeting card and present it to the new owner who just bought that property. You're leading with a heart. I know Maciel has done this. I'm so glad, right? It's welcome to the neighborhood. It's a polished way to show you're working and you're thoughtful and you're nice. Be nice.com. Number 95, remind the people that you actively refer business to, your vendors, your affiliates, your home inspectors, all the people that you're excited to receive at least two new clients from them every quarter, every year, pick one. You, when you ring someone's cash register, you seek reciprocity. Number six out of 101, back to school branded giveaways. Etsy makes it easy. Why not? Number 97, Halloween candy bar wrappers branded to you. Go figure. Number 98, pancakes hostess, right? Pancakes with Santa or, oh my gosh, in my area, laughs with Hanukkah Harry. Yes. You want to go ahead and create experiences in your community with you as the leader of real estate. Write a book. I've had several agent friends write a book to generate more more business. This top seven pitfalls for buyers, for investors, the top 12 ways to win as a homeowner. There's so many things you could do to cast that leadership light on yourself. And then also, ah, number one, oh, what? Just kidding. Number 100, circle prospect around your souls. And then number 101 is collaborate, create a movie day or a movie at the park, right? Again, creating experiences. And as we wrap, woo, that was that was a lot. I'm going to stop the screen share just for a moment. We're at 7.04. And I'm going to go ahead. There's about 89, 90 of us here. I'm going to go ahead and invite, ask me anything. Ooh, Lucho Casas. What an exciting name. It's like 150 degrees in here. You sell, Aaliyah, you sell life in auto. I never knew that. All right, so let's talk about it. It's a good list. Great. I know the co-host is going to help me. We're going to pause to do an Ask Me Anything segment. Maurice in the house. So if you want to be unmuted, we are cooking with that grease. Lord have mercy. What are you? Oh, Mel. <laughs> Hi, Mel. Kiss that baby. All right, so what are my, great question. I said, ask me anything, so I'll cast light and then we'll go to Alicia right after this question. The first question I saw was, what are your top three 
favorites from the 101 high impact list. All right, I'll tell you right now. My top three, well, one is business to business because I've seen so many relationships and transactions come from other professionals who also find their own clients. So for me, I really love that business to business, right? Because then you trade ideas and you start to cross collaborate with their database. You start to add right? People from their database to yours. So I would say business to business. And then the other two, I'm going to throw Toastmasters in there because how we present matters. So I think making those alignments at Toastmasters International and Sunset Agents, I'm just going to say those agents who are about to sunset out, I will buy your database for me 32% for the first 18 months, honey, let's go. It's worth it. So those are my top three. All right. So who has a look at the Homer Simpson, like yellow little hand up. I love it. Josefina Cartagena. Ooh, amazing name. Go ahead and let's unmute Josefina. How do we do this? Let's see. Ask to unmute. How about that? Go ahead and ask your question. I feel like I'm on the radio right now. Gio, help me unmute her. There. Nope. Just kidding. At worst, at worst case, you could put it in the chat and I promise I'll read it. Aliyah, you're unmuted. Ask your question, lovely. So I was saying, at what point do you think, well, at what point and when do you attempt to get new construction deals and how? You know, I had to throw a little extra yeah. question in there. I dig it. So I had 88 units, an 88 unit development in Aberdeen, central New Jersey. And it came from the most unlikely source. It was a short sale buyer that I sold them my listing in the winter of 2009. And it's the same product today. It trades for about 710 and I sold it for 299. I don't want to brag. I should have okay. bought 10 of them back then, right? Anyway, so I sold away a great opportunity. Don't do that. Uh, but I sold it to a really amazing family who the wife started working for Ryan Holmes. And Ryan Holmes is a pretty prolific builder in our area. And the agent who had the listings fell ill, unfortunately. And she stood up in the meeting and said, stop, collaborate. No, sorry. She stood up in the meeting and was like, stop, I have an agent. Awesome. And this agent went to bat for me and found me the impossible and we have to meet with her. So my, my gem in that experience is you never really know mm -hmm. who, you know, right. Until they take a stand for your greatness. So pay attention to who's in your world, who you've sold to. And listen, I have no problem directly going to the little, uh, you know, the, the little, uh, what is it called? The thing that they usually reside in. It's like not a modular home, the model home. I have no problem going to a model home and walking in with a firm handshake, looking professional, all right? And saying, I love what I do and I'm a broker and how can I help you? Is there an opportunity we could collaborate? What a beautiful product. Right. Just ask. I think that's the thing is, I mean, when a toddler wants something, I don't know about y'all, I have a four-year-old, four-year-old boss. And when she wants something, she will ask me 172 million times for that one thing in a row. Since when, what age did we lose that gift of ask? Right. Right, that gift of like, just ask. So that would be my... And then also go to the township and city and see who's taking out building permits. Smart. As it were. That's Thank awesome. you. Thank you. <laughs> Ooh, Leo Morelli. And don't forget Josefina. Leo. Oh, Leo, you put it in the chat too. You can unmute. It says, what's a good amount of tall? Oh, great question, right? Like how many tactics do we adopt out of the one oh out of the one hundred one? So first is like to thy known self be true. 
understand what you do well and what your strengths are, number one. And I, I would really just, I, I would choose two. It sounds great. I really would. I would drill it down to like, okay, what is my top two in the next 90 days that I'm going to crush? What is the top two that will serve as priorities? And then let me drive the actions around it. Does that make sense? Ask and you shall receive. That's in the good book. You know, that's right. Leo, if, if you want more on that, let me know. I'm going to put my cell number in here as well. And we still have 20 minutes that we're on a date together. So we're going to get into behavioral styles in a minute. Abigail Weichel, <gasps> unmute Abby. Awesome. Thanks, Leo. As we're unmuting Abby, I'm going to quickly answer V's question. I can't see your full name because the Zoom is like cutting it off. Beyonda, I think. What is your best advice for a newly licensed agent? Add names and contact information into one specific database and add to it every work week and love on it on it and commit and commit lemon lemon and commit to it and grow your data bank because your database becomes a data bank if you invest and add and deposit enough information so you can withdraw referrals all right so you deposit enough data enough people and you respectfully monetize those relationships and those people. So grow your database from day one and two is again, going back to ask for the business, be professional. I'm spending money in a store. I'm looking in that store where I can monetize. So there's that. Okay, Abby, I don't know if you can unmute. It gets a little funny. I think if you're on a certain audio, oh no, Abby, put your question in the chat. If we just lost you, Natalie, can we unmute Natalie for a question? Great dress. I think Natalie has a question. Sorry, my kids are so loud. That's why it's I'm okay. Mine too. Quiet. Um, but I had wrote, um, I wrote mom to mom, which tactics do you suggest for a busy mom of three out of that list? Do they go to daycare? Do they go to school? You make sure every human, I haven't paid for daycare yet because I've had too many buyers and sellers because I walk in and oh, on my AirPods, I forgot. Oh, sorry, that property's under contract. I'm talking to myself. Do you understand what I'm saying? Okay. Yeah. So, because I don't want to be the bad mom, like always literally be on the phone, but I just wrapped up that conversation as I walked in and I'm saying something Stop. about real estate in a positive way. So there's that. So monetize all of the things you have access to all the soccer moms. Listen, there's a head and then there's a neck. There is the wife and the husband and the neck informs where the head goes. Somebody say yay. Do you get it? And so you have access to the decision maker. Don't unfriend me. I don't make up the rules. And so I would really go deep. And maybe you're starting that book club. You know, maybe, maybe you're starting that. And there's so many leadership books. By the way, tomorrow is National Read a Book Day. Just, oh, by the way. Um, and so, yeah, I would really monetize the 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 mama bear sweat like for me for you i would have you know natalie's mama bear ceo you know because you're driving the business that you know i mean your kids are going to admire a money-making mama you know versus one that did it make the money you know what i'm saying yeah yay True, true. Sorry, I was talking and I was un I was muted, but oh, snap. You got a say point. it again. Thank you. It's okay. No, say I was saying no, you got a point. Thank you. Thank you. And also think about what you do really well that you would have fun with and do that to generate some okay. clients. Yeah. 
Oh, thank good. You. Yeah. Hi, Abby. Go ahead. Ask me anything. Okay. Can you hear me now? Yes. Perfect. So I have a quick question. Um, I've noticed that um, there's so many new realtors. Like every time I see a house, it's a sign. It's not a company that I'm accustomed to. It's a lot of independent companies. How do we compete with them? How do we promote our brand, I guess, if there's so many independent companies that are working at such a less than comparable rate? Yeah, so I think the answer is firstly within you, because Abby Weichel is the name, is the boots on the ground, local subject matter expert. The dirty little secret is it's never really primarily in the in the consumer's mind. It's never really the company. It's more so the person first. So really, Abby Weichel, Abigail Weichel is the primary brand. Lifestyle International Realty happens to be the power backbone behind Abby. So I, you have an opportunity to brand yourself personally, and then you have an opportunity to brand, of course, you know, with the primary brokerage being Lifestyle International Realty. In terms of standing out, it's it's really threefold. It's one, connecting with people, building the rapport, and then telling your story. Because if we don't tell our, our story, whether it's through social media, phone call, mailings, promotion, marketing, PR, someone else is going to try to do it or it's just not going to get done at all. So firstly, the answer is within you. You're the one, I always said, like, you know, petting the dog at 9 p.m. at night, waiting for them to finish signing that listing. You know, you're the one in the pouring rain showing the house. Okay. So the reality is it starts with you. And so model after who brands themselves well personally and then professionally. And I think you have an opportunity to further insert the, the overall company backbone of a brand to say, okay, what value are you enjoying from, from the backbone of the brand of the brokerage, which might be professional development. It might be dollar productive training. It might be opportunities to win more clients. And then take a look at that rev share opportunity to rescue someone who, like you said, is maybe at a company who they're not loving it at Mickey Mouse Realty. Just saying, there's an opportunity there. Oh, snap. Like the 0.75%. Hmm. I'm looking at you in the chat box. So does that make sense? So like, how do you compete? I mean, you know, I, I do feel like there's a great opportunity that the pie is going to get larger for us who are working the business and treating it like such. And then there's going to be somewhat of an exodus of agents who can't weather it. You know, everything's not for everybody and that's okay. And I think that when the tide rolls out by year's end, it's going to be interesting which ones are reigning supreme and what you focus on gets greater. So that's why we look at a huge list of 101 and we pick the top two, maybe three that really speak to what we do well and what we enjoy. Because if you don't enjoy it, you're not going to commit to it. I'm not disciplined, I'm devoted. There's a difference. Yeah, it's like this office I'm in. If you can't handle the heat, get out the kitchen. It's like 150 degrees in here. Makes sense, right? And that's the thing is spicy. You're so hysterical. I love it. All right, is that, are we good on the AMA? And now we'll shift. We have another 11 minutes on our date together. I give you a lot of credit. There's like 77 of us on here. I give you a, a lot of credit. And so let's go ahead and talk about how we have an opportunity to quickly build rapport. 
And quickly building rapport is knowing yourself and your behavioral style and understanding the consumer and their behavioral style. And we don't treat each other, we don't treat others rather as real estate professionals, we don't treat other people the way we want to be treated. We treat others the way they prefer to be treated. Okay. Because everybody's not like us and that's okay. It takes all kinds of people to serve the world. And so let's look at this visual. You will have access to this deck. This may look familiar if you've graduated SWAT. However, the same person cannot walk in the same river twice. You're different and the water is different. And so the faster paced behaviors are at the top. Dominance and influence, the D and the I. Dominant people, we call them Ds. Throw some Ds on it. Come on now. The Ds have priorities that look like getting immediate results, taking action, challenging themselves, challenging others. The first question the, the green D behavior asks is what? Because they want to know what is the bottom line. Be there, be brief, be, brief, be gone. They're motivated, the Ds are motivated by power, authority. They're highly competitive. They're motivated by winning and succeeding. They're terrified to lose control. Put in the chat box if you know someone who's a D. <laughs> and they're afraid of being vulnerable. They're really afraid of being taken advantage of. In fact, the perfect way to anger a D is to make them feel like they're being taken advantage of. That's a great way to really tick them off. From D behaviors, you'll notice they have self-confidence. They are direct. They can be forceful. They take risks. Sometimes they're perceived as being rude, even when there's no intention of that. The D's limitations sometimes can be lack of concern, impatience, or insensitivity. They are active, they're fast paced, they're assertive, they're dynamic, they're bold, okay? In the continental US, less than 5% of the people who drive 95% of the wealth lead with the D behavior. All right, let's go to the letter I, to the right, to the right. The I, they're influencers. The first question they ask is who, like an owl, who, who, okay? Their priorities are expressing enthusiasm and encouraging collaboration. They take action. They're motivated by social recognition. They love group activities. They love people. They're friendly. They're bubbly. They fear rejection. They fear disapproval. They fear being ignored. Ooh, you want to tick off uh, an I behavior? Make them think you're ignoring them. You'll notice an enthusiasm, a sociability from them, a charm, an optimism. They're talkative. Their limitations show up as being impulsive, a tad disorganized. And their limitations can also look like a lack of follow through. This is why a tremendous number of real estate agents tend to lead with their eye. And so because they lack the organization, they need the brilliance of the other two behaviors we're about to get into as their operations backbone. The other two behaviors at the bottom are more thoughtful and moderately paced. We'll start with the letter C for conscientiousness. Notice how I even slow down. C, think compliant, think CPA. Their first question they ask is how? How? H-O-W. Because they want to know all the details. Their priorities are accuracy and maintaining stability. 
they challenge assumptions. They're motivated by the opportunities to use expertise or to gain knowledge, their learning base. They have an attention to detail and quality. They are terrified of slipshot methods. You wanna terrify them? Let them think you're winging it. They fear criticism. You wanna tick off a C behavior? Tell them they're wrong without doing all the research. <laughs> <clears throat> My husband's a C behavior. It's good. It's great. Uh, you will notice in a C's uh, how they show up. They are precise. They enjoy analysis. They are tad skeptical. They're reserved, maybe a little more quiet. All right, we're going to leave the C's there and shift to the S's. Think steadiness, think supportive. The first question the S behavior asks is why? W-H-Y, why? Because they want to know why it's happening. Their priorities are giving support. They enjoy maintaining stability. They enjoy some collaboration. They enjoy security. You walk into an S's house, they have family pictures blasted all over almost every wall. They're motivated by a stable, secure environment. They want opportunities to be helpful. You're at a listing appointment with a S or any behavior. I'm always asking for a, a cup of water. I'm always be helpful. Uh, they fear the S behavior fears loss of stability, they fear change. 68% of the continental US are, lead with their S behavior. Do you think it's important that you know how to close on these people to make them move when they fear change? I'm gonna talk about it. You'll notice they are patient. They could be team players, steady. They wanna know why. So the D to recap asks what, the I asks who, the C asks how, and the S asks why. I'll take thoughts. I'll take Aaliyah in the chat box saying she feels personally attacked. Or do you feel seen, right? Are you seen? I am a D-I in that order. Does it. I need S and C in my life. If you're an S or a C, come, come check me. Send help. All right. Now, the next slide I'm going to show you is really out of uh, time. It is out of the investment of time. And I will share that this is uh, one of the most significant uh, lessons that I've ever experienced. And if you know me, you probably have received a handwritten note from me that shows up like this. Okay. And so the meaningful lesson, you should be able to see my screen. The meaningful lesson is this, and it speaks to this market. Oh, by the way, and I'll leave you with this because it's 729 and we're only on a date until 730 today. Come check me next Tuesday at six o'clock. Every problem serves a purpose. It may be a lesson learned, a next level opportunity, a fresh understanding, or different perspective. In leadership and in life, you will encounter problems of all kinds. If you can shift your mindset to look for the potential it presents, your problem just may be the starting point of your next success, your greatest win. When did a problem you were faced with turn out to be the exact opportunity you needed to make significant change? Sometimes the most daunting challenges we face become the tipping point to our greatest triumphs. Allah. I know that's right. All right, so let's do this. 
It's Tuesday, September 5th. In 90 days, we're going to blink and it's going to be the holiday season on set. Okay. Everyone breathe. It's good. We got this. All right. We're doing our GPA business plan. We are getting specific on shopping through those tactics. We are collaborating. I will take comments in the chat box. I'll limit it to like 17 hallucinations. Yes, Tyra, you're going to get the whole deck. Geo, let's figure out how to put it on the lifestyle app. We are not here to play because there's no other asset class that drives more wealth to families than real estate. From your favorite mama bear, CEO, this look is called I Have Two Young Kids, Send Help. Thank you for investing the time. Let's get it. I trust this was a decent investment of time. Whew. I'll stay for a moment and observe the chat. If anyone has any comments or questions, go to overachievercentral.com to submit any testimonials because I collect my testimonials on overachievercentral.com. Holla. Thank you, Anisha. Thank you, Carmen. Oh my goodness. Look at all the emojis. <gasps> Russ Downs. <gasps> Russ and Erin. Estrella. Mm, star. Madeline. I'm gonna adopt you. Luis. Very nice. Laura. Oh, good. It was fire. Sounds hot. <laughs> Don't unfriend me. <laughs> Hi, me. Oh, me. Yeah, oh, me. Foreclosure Friday. Oh, baby. Let's do this. And listen, if you're dual career, I was dual career with no Instagram in the year 2005. If my remedial self figured this out, you can figure this out. Millions upon millions earned in real estate. Why not? Let's do it. All right. Have an amazing night. Thank you so much. Everybody has such pretty names. My name's so boring. Gio, give me a new name. <laughs> Have a great night, y'all. Thank you. Besos.